is Anna and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my current makeup collection. Unfortunately there is always some controversy around a video like this. A lot of people love them personally. I am one of those people. I really enjoy seeing what other people have in their stash and how they organize their makeup. But there is also a small amount of people that don't like seeing these type of videos. They don't like seeing people brag or show off their makeup collection. So if you're one of those people this video might not be for you and I suggest you would stop watching right now. <laughs> But with all of that being done and said, I hope you really enjoy this video and let's jump into all of this makeup. This is the current setup which I have to organize and store all of my makeup. First up right here, I have an IKEA LX9 drawer unit and this is an IKEA LX6 drawer unit. When my makeup collection first started expanding, I invested into this 6 drawer unit. And when the collection grew even more, I invested into the 9 drawer unit. The way in which I try to organize my makeup is based on the steps in which I do my makeup. So first up we will start right here and then we'll work our way down and then we'll start again up here and work our way down. To start off I will share with you what I have sitting on top of this unit. In the very back here we have one of the things which is probably most valuable to me and this is the prize which I got when I made it into the top 20 of the Dutch MIX Face Awards. This is just something that I keep here in the back just because every day when I look at it, it inspires me and it reminds me of the things which I have achieved. Next up I have here some hand sanitizer which I use when I start doing my makeup in the morning because I want to make sure I have clean hands when I'm touching my face. And last up I just have some decorative pieces like this fake plant and these two magazines just because I think they look aesthetically pleasing. In this first drawer right here I have organized my fixing and setting sprays and my face primers. In the very back right here I have all of my fixing sprays. First up right here I have all of my MAC Cosmetics Fix Pluses. I have the original one, the Fix Plus Mint, the Fix Plus Gold Light and the Lavender Scented Fix Plus. And in the very back I have a new Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray but I also have one here which I'm still using before I'm grabbing that one. And last up right here I have a MIX Professional Makeup Matte Finishing Spray and a Dewy Finishing Spray. Next up right here I have all of my face primers. I tried categorizing these into two different categories. So here I have my normal face primers and here I have my more glowier primers and my strobing creams. So as for normal primers, some of my favorites are the Galan Laure Radiant Face Base, I have the Classic Too Faced Hangover Primer, the Benefit Professional, and the Smashbox Primerizer. And for the more glowier primers, I have the NYX Angel Fill, the NYX Born to Glow, I have a Charlotte Silberry Flawless Filter, here I have a MAC Cosmetics Strobing Cream, and I have the Benefit Professional, and this is the Pearl version. So that is it for the first drawer. As for the next drawer right here, I have all of my foundations and my makeup sponges. I tried categorizing my foundations into foundation sticks, my least use and my most use, but unfortunately the collection again grew and I don't have the system anymore of the more used and the lesser used foundations. So as just for a few examples which I have in my collection, I have the Benefit Cosmetics Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. Here I have the NARS Natural Radiant Pro Long Wear Foundation. The Lancome Tent Idol Ultra Wear Fenty Beauty Foundation. A Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have a Sufficient Formula the Healthy Foundation which was actually sent by one of my followers on Instagram which I'm really really loving. I have a Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation, some MAC Cosmetics Foundations because that used to be like my favorite brand back in the day and they will be brown long wear even finish foundation and then next up here I have all of my stick foundations these mainly consist of Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundations because when I got onto their PR list they sent me like eight foundations and I'm really really happy with them they have a great great formula another one which I have is the Bobbi Brown stick foundation and I also have the famous makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation and then next up right here I have some makeup sponges I have some beauty blenders some sponges by NYX I have a uh, Laura Mercier powder puff. I have a little mirror from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I just keep these in here because they are easy to grab and I wouldn't really know where else I could place them. <laughs> As 
as for the next wear, I store all of my concealers, my setting powders and my contour palettes. I'm just going to be taking these ones out so we have a clearer overview. But in the first row right here, I have some concealers which I don't use on a regular basis. These are also, again, the ones which may not be in my color or they may not be my favorite, but I've already used them, so it would be a pity to throw them out. So therefore, I keep them in here. A few examples which I have here is a Kiko Milana Skin Tone Concealer to cancel out redness on my face. I have some NYX Professional Makeup HD Studio Concealers. I have a Kat Von D Concealer. This is one of the Allegro Pro Concealers. In the next row right here I have all of my favorite concealers. I can't use them every day of course, but these are the ones which I gravitate to the most. So first up right here I have one of these Fenty Beauty 3 on Matchsticks. This is a little set which has a contour color, a concealing color and a highlighter color. I actually only use the contour color. This is the shade Amber, which is absolutely one of my favorites. Next up right here I have a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have a Laura Mercier Concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, a MAC Select Cover Up, a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a little NARS Concealer Pot which is great actually for carving out your eyebrows. So even though I may not use these ones every single day, these are my favorites. And next up in this row right here, I have all of my loose setting powders and my compact setting powders. In the back right here, I have some uh, Studio Fix powders from MAC, which I still really like to use whenever I have like a blotchy day and my nose isn't really holding onto the foundation. These ones are absolutely great. Here I have the Laura Mercier setting powder, a Kat Von D setting powder. This is the MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Star Collection setting powder. And this is another Laura Mercier powder and this is especially for underneath your eyes. And then next up right here I have a Charlotte Silberry powder. This is absolutely one of my favorites currently. And then here in the front I have some palettes. So first up right here I have the NYX Contouring Palette. I have the Captain D Shade and Light Palette. And this is the NYX Professional Makeup Cream Contour. And then for all of the palettes which I just took out, these are all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I have some few backups of these ones because when I got them sent in PR and I haven't used up my own ones which I bought. But here I have a creamy contour, here I have a powder contour, another cream contour palette. This is the cream contour palette which I'm currently still using. And this is the powder contour palette which I'm currently still using. I just like to keep them in this way because I like to have them separated by brand and the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are definitely one of my favorites so I keep them separated from the other ones. As for the next row right here, this is where I store all of my highlighters, my blushes, my bronzers and my other face palettes. As for the first row right here, this is where I store all of my single highlighters. Most of these in the back are MAC highlighters. I have here my Beaming Blush highlighter, I have a Soft and Gentle highlighter and a Light Scapade highlighter. These used to be one of my absolute favorites. Next up right here, I have a Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. I have a Inglet and Jennifer Lopez collection highlighter. The Anastasia and Marisi highlighter, absolutely still one of my favorites till this day. I have a Louis Nars Orgasm highlighter. Highlighter and some Meraki Cosmetics highlighters. I have the color uh, Zealous and here we have Helios. I have Cybella, which is also a really, really pretty one. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Amrizi highlighter. Next row, which we have here, are all single blushes. I have a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills and MAC Cosmetics blushes. One of my favorites must be the Anastasia Peachy Love Blush Trio. This is this is just amazing. I really, really like this one. And as for MAC blushes, I have the blush Harmony, which I really, really like. Margin, also one of my old favorites. I have a little NARS Orgasm blush. I have a, a Benefits California blush. So that is all for this, but I actually only use the um, Harmony blush and the Peachy Trio. Next up right here, I have all my bronzers. Recently, I've been really, really getting into bronzers, especially for the summer, so I have been buying a lot of these. In the back right here, I have some NYX matte bronzers. Then I have a whole lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. I use this one. This is in the color Rosewood, I believe. Get yeah, Rosewood. I also have a Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and a Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is also one of my favorites and I think this is like really cheap. I also got this sent by one of my followers on Instagram and I'm really, really happy with this one. I also have the NARS Laguna brush and also one of my favorites has to be the Hula Light Bronzer. 
And then as for in the front right here, I have all of my face palettes, which are divided into two categories. I have my highlighter palettes and my bronzer palettes. As for bronzer palettes, I have the Charlotte Tilbury palette, from which I really enjoy this sculpting powder. I have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Powder, which I don't really use that often, but it smells amazing. And from highlighter palettes, these are once again all Anastasia Beverly Hills. One of my favorites has to be the Sugar Glow Kit, and underneath here is the Sunlit Glow Kit. I also have a MAC Cosmetics Hyper Brew Glow Palette, which I really enjoy. And on here, standing up, I have the new Dream Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the Aurora Glow Kit, which I have double because I got a sending PR, and the Moonchild Glow Kit. And then as for the last drawer in this Alex 6 drawer unit, I have a whole bunch of random stuff actually. These are some face cleaners, I have some deodorants, I have a shampoo, I have uh, some hair oil. And in the very back right here, I try to store all of the samples which I get whenever I buy makeup. So I first tried categorizing these ones into perfumes and makeup samples, but that's just not working really anymore. It's just a big mess in the back there, so... I try to organize this one, but I just don't really have enough space to keep them organized, unfortunately. But it's just always really fun to have like all of these samples to grab into whenever I feel like using another perfume for a day or I want to try out something new. So I really, really like this for whenever I feel bored and I want to try something new. So that is it for all of the things in the 6 drawer unit. So now we're going on top of the 9 drawer unit. So as for the things which I keep on top of this Alex 9 drawer unit, in the front I have some fake plants which once again look very aesthetically pleasing. Then here I have a PR box from Anastasia Beverly Hills which had the 6 new summer collection lipsticks. And I also have a PR box right here in the back which holds the Dream Glow Kit. And then in the middle right here I have a box from the uh, MAC Christmas collection I believe it was and this holded the 12 uh, color mini lipsticks. And once again I just keep this up here just because I think it looks aesthetically pleasing and the Anastasia Beverly Hills PR packages are once again a reminder of what I have achieved and how far I've come. very first and top drawer of this nine drawer unit unfortunately these ones don't have the same depth as the six drawer unit so i can't reach these products right here in the back therefore from now on if i'm showing you things from these drawers i will first be taking out the front port so that i can show you the things which are in the very back and once i've shown them i can push them back again and i can show you the things which were in front here so just taking this out so the first thing which I have in the very very back are the things which I don't tend to use so often. I only use this when I'm going to be filming and then I really have to take out all of the things but that is not really a hassle because I'm filming already. But this is the unit which holds all of my pigments and my glitters. As for glitters these mostly are NYX Cosmetics and Meraki Cosmetics. They have really really pretty chunky glitters as you can see right here. Also these ones are really pretty. And then I hold a bunch of NYX Professional Makeup Glitters, which I think you all know and love. And then for on this side, I have all of my NYX Cosmetic Pigments. And I also have a Inglet Loose Eyeshadow Pigment. I'm not really sure what this is. I haven't worked with it yet. Then next up, I have a unit which is easier for me to reach, but I don't reach for that often. This is the unit which stores all of my eyeshadow bases. As for bases, right here I have a Charlotte Tilbury Creamy Eyeshadow, which I really like to use as a base to set with some shimmering eyeshadows for a very easy and glowy look. I have a MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I have a Sigma Eyeshadow Base. And next up are just all NYX Professional Makeup Eyeshadow Bases. I have a lot of the Vivid Brights ones, which I like to use for whenever I'm doing a very colorful look. And I want to have a base which will match the color which will be going on top of it. And then also I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is a classic and I think we will all know. So these ones I store in here. And then putting in this part again. Here I have stored all of my eyebrow products. I tried categorizing these ones again into like the pencils and the more longer objects and then all of the powders and pomades and whatever else there is to eyebrows. So just to start here, I have a whole lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes. I could store these ones in my brush holders, but these are just like really special to me and I want to keep them nice and organized all together. So that is why I have them all here. Then next up, I have a Precising My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I have a 
This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have a Brow Faux Conditioning Eyebrow Primer. I really, really like this one. I have one of the new MAC Cosmetics Shape and Shade Brow Tint. That was really hard to pronounce. And these have the cute little felt tip, which are really nice for drawing eyebrow hairs. I also have a Anastasia Clear Eyebrow Setter and some more pencils and all of that. And then here I keep most of my uh, eyebrow powders and pomades. The pomades are mostly Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are one of my absolute favorites, couldn't live without them. And I also have two of the Cabral Benefit eyebrow pomades. Currently I'm using the color 4.5 which is really really nice. It's very cool toned and I highly recommend this one. And then I also have some NYX Professional Makeup Eyebrow Gels. These ones are really, really great for when you want to do your eyebrows and you also want them to stay in place all day because this is like a two-in-one product if you're looking for that type of a result. And I also have here some eyebrow powders. These are also Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have a browsing from Benefit Cosmetic. And then in the very back right here I have some scissors and some eyebrow stencils. So this is... Not really organized. I would have wanted to have it more organized that I have like pomades together and all my powders together and all of the brow setters and brushes. Just all categorized but unfortunately once again I just don't have enough space to have such a organization. So for this drawer, once again, I'm taking out the front first. The very back of this drawer is mostly single eyeshadows. I try to categorize and organize them by brand. So in the very back right here, I have all of my Kiko Milano single eyeshadows. These used to be one of my favorites actually to work with. I really like these single eyeshadows. They're really colorful and pigmented and they build up very, very nicely. So if you go onto my Instagram and you scroll down to like last year, I used to use these ones all the time. And then for the front right here, I have my cosmetic single eyeshadows. I have them from the Holiday Collection. This is their uh, Noir Collection, which I have out right now. I used to use this powder actually for my eyebrows when I was young. And this is, I don't use it anymore. I don't, I don't really recommend using this anymore. But this is just one of the things which is very um, precious to me. I just can look back at this and I can think like how far once again I have come. So I just keep this one here just because it holds a whole lot of memories to me. And then here I have some uh, NYX single eyeshadows. I've never used these ones before but I have swatched them in store and they look really really great. But I just haven't really found a look to use them with yet. So pushing this back again. Ooh. We're putting in the front. As for the front right here, I have most of my eye pencils in this compartment. These once again mostly consist of NYX professional makeup pencils. I have a Colistar right here. I have a Urban Decay eye pencil. I have some Kiko Milanos, a MAC Cosmetics one. So these are just kind of miscellaneous. I used to be a really, really big fan of eye pencils. Not really anymore. I don't really know why, but they just don't really pull me as much as they used to. And then for this front compartment right here, I have all of my liquid liners. These are once again mostly um, NYX Cosmetics, the Epic Ink Liner is one of my favorite. The Vivid Brights are really nice to work with. A MAC Cosmetics Gold Liner, the Sigma, more NYX, more NYX. There's a whole bunch of NYX basically. And a, uh, this is a L'Oreal Cosmetics and NYX. And this is um, YSL, not really great. Don't, don't buy it. And then as for right here, I have most of my gel liners. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills black eyeliner. And once again, mostly just NYX. I have an Inglet right here as well. And some MAC Cosmetics ones, a black track, which used to be one of my favorites as well back in the day. And then I have this Inglet oil right here, which I use for whenever my uh, gel products are drying out. I like to add a drop of this and it will be brand new. And now we've come to one of the most exciting parts of my makeup collection, I think, and these are the lipsticks. In the very back right here, I try to categorize it again into brands. In the very, very back, I have my NYX products because I don't use them very often. These are just some of their liquid suede. I have the metallic versions as well. Some of their soft matte creams. This is a uh, NYX Cosmic Metal. 
I received most of these uh, when I was in the top 10 of the NYX Face Awards and I swatched all of them. So I just keep these in the back for whenever on a rainy day I might want to use a purple or whatever. And then in the front right here, these are more loved and more used. These are my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. One of my favorite ones has to be uh, Nude and Peachy. I have a whole bunch of them which I haven't had time yet to use because I received all of these in PR. And I want to do some type of like a, a swatch picture for myself so that I know what color is what because from the outside you can't see what is in the inside. So I'm still working on this but these are definitely one of my favorites as well. Um, these have been well loved. I have collecting my cosmetic lipsticks I think since I was 16 um, and they just never let me down. I use these ones I think the most on a regular basis. Well, a few of my favorites have to be like uh, Yash, Diva, Age Sex Location, Honey Love, um, let me see, oh, Taupe as well. This used to be one of my favorites as well. It's a really really nice nude color and I also once again have like some of these uh, collection specials right here whenever there's a new collection I always try to buy one or two lipsticks just because these like hold a lot of memory again for me so this is like once again from their newest collection I have a purple this is from the Christmas collection this is more of like a grayish tone but I'd like to use this one over top of other lipsticks I really like this one as well. This was with, uh, I can never pronounce her last name and I don't want to disrespect her because she's a great, great actress and a person. But this is one of my favorite colors as well. And then next here I have uh, most of my lip liners. These ones again mostly consist of my cosmetics ones, NYX Professional Makeup or Kylie, surprisingly. And I also have a lip conditioner by MAC and a This Is Everything Lip Balm by NYX. One of my favorites has to be, I think, um, Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K. Unfortunately I'm almost out of that one and I don't want to order it again because their customer service absolutely sucks. But it's a really, really great lip liner, unfortunately. One of my other favorite ones has to be Oak by MAC Cosmetics. I also really like Night Moth, which is great for whenever I'm wearing a purple lip. This one is also really nice. This is by NYX Cosmetics, and this is all their suede uh, matte lip liners. And this is in the color Brooklyn Throne. I really like this one as well. Next up, I'm going to be trying to be taking this huge thing out of here. No! <laughs> so the thing which I have here in the very, very back are most of my miscellaneous brands and lip glosses. I have some Urban Decay lipsticks here. I have some Urban Decay lip glosses here and some more NYX lip glosses. And then down here I have a Bobbi Brown lipstick, some Estee Lauder lipsticks. And these ones just don't really have a place anywhere else in my collection. So therefore they go in the very back. And I'm putting this huge thing in again. Then in the very front right here I have all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, lip glosses and other liquid lipsticks which are just a bunch of miscellaneous brands. So as for here what I said these are all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I was very very blessed and grateful that I got all of these in PR. These are ones of my favorite liquid lipstick formula and I tend to wear these also on a daily basis. In this middle section right here I have all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I have never really been a lip gloss kind of type but I really really enjoy these ones. This one is absolutely one of my favorites this one is called moon jelly it is absolutely extraordinary and they're matte lip glosses as well are really really nice to apply over a lipstick so i also really recommend these ones if you're not really into the lip glosses like i am but you do really want to try them out sometime these are your go-to's and then last up right here, I have all of my liquid lipsticks, which are different types of brands. I have um, Kat Von D lipsticks, I have NARS, I have Jeffree Star, I have Huda Beauty, I have Too Faced, I also have some Kylie right here. And that is all of it for the lip products. Then next up right here in this drawer I have all of my mascaras and my eyelashes. In this very back right here I have most of my mascaras which I tend to use. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation, I have the Bad Girl Bang 
by Benefit. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love it so much that I have two. And in the back right here, I have a Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. A Sigma Kiko Milano. Roller Lash as well, one of my favorites. So I just keep all of these in here. Next up right here to the side, I have all of my mini mascaras and my eyelash glue and a tweezer for whenever I want to apply fake lashes. And uh, these ones I especially use for my lower lashes. So I have a mini version right here of the roller lash from Benefit. It's really, really nice. And the other ones I don't tend to use as often. And then in the very front right here, I have all of my fake lashes. I try to kind of like categorize them by brand, but it's just not really working out the way I expected it to be. These are all of my NYX Professional Makeup eyelashes. And I have two in the very front right here, which are Alina uh, lashes. Really like these ones as well. Here I have some uh, fake cheap ones from AliExpress. Then I have some Huda Beauty ones and House of Lashes. The House of Lashes and the Huda Beauty ones are the ones which I use most often. And to the side right here I have a empty lash case because I uh, was wearing these ones and they're still on my desk. So whenever I'm wearing lashes I still keep the box and I put them to the side right here. And then I also have a MAC Cosmetics lash and a Fluor lash. Now we've come to probably the fullest drawer out of my entire collection. This is the drawer which holds all of my neutral toned eyeshadow palettes. I tried to categorize my eyeshadow palettes into more colorful and the more neutral ones. So these are the more neutral ones. So just to go through this with you guys quickly. Here I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and these hold their single eyeshadows. I'm absolutely in love with these every time I look at them. <laughs> This one also may be more of a colorful one because we have all the purple ones here but here the oranges I find more neutral so there are also some palettes in there which you might think they are not really neutral but I also don't really find them especially colorful so they're kind of in between there as well. I have a Urban Decay Naked Petite here. I have the new Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. I have a Kylie Jenner. This is the first palette I think she brought out. This is the bronze one. I haven't used it yet. And all of the things which you still see in packaging, I keep them in packaging because I still want to use them for a tutorial. I have another Anastasia Beverly Hills one. These are some shimmers. I have a Huda Smoky Obsessions palette. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. This is the Urban K Backtop palette, which is also one of my favorites currently. It has some blushes and two highlighters and a whole bunch of pretty, pretty eyeshadows. Here I also have some uh, MAC Cosmetics one. I also have a NYX Ultimate eyeshadow palette. In the front right here I have three Sigma eyeshadow palettes. Don't fall out please. <laughs> And just a whole bunch of other random ones right here in the very back, but I can't get to all of them because else it will be like an hour long video, I suppose. And then next up right here in this drawer, I have most of my more colored eyeshadow palettes. So just to show you some examples, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette right here. I have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remaster palette. I uh, yesterday filmed a tutorial with this and it's really, really great, you guys. I have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, absolutely one of my current favorites right now. The color range is just... It's just insane for a palette. I really, really like it. I have the uh, Beats Eyeshadow Palette by Urban Decay. I have a, another whole bunch of Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Eyeshadows. I have a Matte Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette from Sueva. I have the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Here I have the Burn Book. This is by uh, Storybook Cosmetics and this one is also really, really great. And the mirror broke because I stood on it. Ugh. And then of course I have the uh, NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palettes Bright. This is one of my absolute favorite rainbow type of eyeshadow palettes. And it's very affordable as well. So as you can see the colored ones are a bit less. But they all work really really great luckily. Next up in this drawer right here, I have most of my backup products or the things which I might want to give away to friends and families or for a future giveaway. So I have most of my Anastasia Beverly Hills 
palettes. These are all backups because um, I already bought them once, but then I got them sent new in PR. Here I have a really cute set by Benefit, which has like a few of their mascaras. I have a Precising My Brow Pencil. I have a Extra Huda Beauty Rose School Palette because I bought this one for a friend, actually. This is a Shishido Ibuki. This is a moisturizer, and this is the line which I'm currently using as for my skincare. It's really, really great if you suffer from acne and a more combinational skin. And then down here I have a whole bunch of NYX products as well. I have a Extra Guillain Primer. I have an Extra Brow by Benefit. Um, another skincare product. Uh, in the front right here I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks Extra. I have some NYX Foundations which are not in my color. Some lip liners. A extra Lancome foundation. Uh, in the back here I have some eyeshadow palettes as well. So this is just a whole bunch of stuff which I'm planning on just doing a huge huge giveaway with. Um, not all products so don't get too excited please because some are uh, backups for myself. Uh, but that is just because I get so much makeup nowadays sent uh, which I am never able to be using all by myself so therefore I want to give it away to friends and family or in a future giveaway. And then this right here is the last drawer which is probably the least exciting thing which you will ever see in your life. This keeps most of my brush cleanser so I have a on the spot brush cleaner, I have a brush cleanser by NYX, I have a little bit left of my uh, MAC brush cleanser. And in the back right here I have most of my special effects makeup. So here I have some spatula. Right here I have some liquid latex. I have some SFX setting powders. I have some fake blood. I have some foam to protect your face from using liquid latexes. I have some makeup sponges and all of that. I bought all of this because I was uh, in the NYX Face Awards as I already said. But apart from that I never ever do any special effects makeup. But it's also like very pity to throw it out because it was really expensive. So therefore I keep it in here and I try to store uh, like cotton balls and all of that in here. But I've already used all of them. So normally this looks a bit more fuller. But not today unfortunately. So there was a whole lot of talking you guys. I'm absolutely exhausted. And my makeup looks like shit. So there for the hours will be like this. Um, I just want to thank all of you very much for watching. Once again this is not me showing off or bragging about my makeup collection. I'm absolutely very very grateful for all of the things which I have. I'm very blessed with companies sending me products. And seeing potential in me and my work. So if you like this video, please sound up in the comments down below, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And with all of that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I want to see you in the next video. Bye bye!